Hey there! Today is day 13 of the Draw the Circle prayer challenge. This has been our time to just get close to Jesus and it is a, an amazing conversation on today. Today's conversation is one day. And oftentimes you hear people say, someday I'll do this, someday this will happen, and we post things in the future. But imagine what God can do in just one day. And so once again, we land in Acts chapter 10 and verse 3, and we're speaking about Cornelius. You will remember him from the first day of the Draw the Circle conversations. And Cornelius, it mentioned that he, had, he was a thoroughly good man and that he had a habit of prayer. Tonight it goes further and it speaks about the fact that he not only did he have a habit of prayer, that his prayer life and his acts of kindness, his behavior, his execution of his prayers were noticed by God. It came to his attention. And so what are you, what's coming forward for you? What is bringing God's attention into your life? He goes on and he talks about a miracle that happened, that he had been praying and that he receives a phone call. This is after four years of consistent and fervent prayer, received a phone call that someone wanted to sow into the ministry at the tune of $3 million. Now, I don't know about you, but that can stand your faith up in front of you. Can you imagine that? After praying for God to move in a certain way. And his prayer was actually for $2 million. But in that, God let him know, I, I do bonus. That I can go above and beyond what you can imagine or think, taking limits off of God. But I liked how the, the reason why the, the person chose to sow into the ministry. They said, we see your vision and we trust your leadership. So if people, can they see your vision? Is it a Habeka two and two where you've written the vision so clearly that others can buy into it? Others can believe into it? Others can sow into it? How clear is your vision? And do you have a leadership that can be trusted? And so I thought that was a wonderful experience too when it, that was uh, shared. Um, he ended up talking about the the one day kind of experience that what God can do in a day. Because uh, again, as I said, we... Uh, future date things, someday I'll do this, when this happens. But he says, in a day, God can change your life. Your body can be healed in one, on one day. Your body can uh, be delivered in one day. You can have a financial blessing in one day. So it doesn't take God to move, but that only happens in a one day kind of moment when you've been praying every day. It's those in daily investments of prayer that lead to a one day experience in the kingdom. He also talked about the fact that prayer is an investment. It's not this lottery that you know you're playing and hoping to win. And so and if you look at lottery winners, normally when you hear those stories, they're normally of waste and, and they don't have the resources anymore. Uh, because they did not invest in earning those resources. How about in your investment in prayer? The conclusion, uh, again, is, is also um, strong. When he shares the, the final concluding statement, God can accomplish more in one day than you can accomplish in a lifetime. And so what's your one day prayer for God? I just am so encouraged by day 13, having a one day level of prayer and faith as we move towards day 14 of our Draw the Circle Prayer Challenge. Look forward to connecting with you on tomorrow.